welcome back to my channel. Our topic in this session is defining a distribution of the sample mean for normal population if population variance is known and if population variance is not known. Let's do it. Population variance is known for a normally distributed population with mean mu and standard deviation sigma, the equivalent z-score of a sample mean from the sampling distribution of means is given by the formula. This one is z equals the sample mean minus the population mean divided by, of course, the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample mean. And this distribution is best applied for large samples only. That is, your sample size is greater than or equal to 30. Population variance is unknown to estimate the population parameters. We can use the t-distribution by using the formula. t equals sample mean minus population mean divided by, of course, the standard deviation of the sample mean. Remember that we use the t-distribution for small sample size. So if your sample size is less than 30, we use the t-distribution. If your sample size is greater than or equal to 30, we use the Z distribution. What is the Z distribution and T distribution that I am talking about? This one is, of course, a Z distribution. You can download it. And this one is, of course, a T distribution. Okay? We will be using it on the succeeding lessons. So, we know that this formula is for population variance is known and this one is for the population variance is unknown okay so let us have this examples read and analyze the following situations determine whether the following statements have a known or unknown population variance and provide a brief explanation to support your answer also Identify the formula to be used for the standard error of the mean by writing. This one is the standard error for the mean when the population variance is known. And this one is the standard error of the mean when the population variance is unknown. Number one, consider a population consisting of 15, 2, 12, 4, 5, 8, 6, 9, 17. Samples of size 5 are drawn from the population. So we have here the N, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this one is 9. And then our small N is how many? 5. The question here is, is the population variance known or unknown? Remember that we can solve for the variance here of the population. And that is the, this is the formula. So this is summation of x minus mu squared divided by n. So we have this one and we have the entries here. Therefore, we can use the formula for known. And now, what is the standard error? Standard error of the mean. We can use the formula for standard error of the mean. This one. Okay. So this one is equivalent to, of course, the variance divided by the square root of n. Example 2, given the population mean, so that is mu, 98, and a sample standard deviation of 2, sample standard deviation, that will be S, that is 2, and a sample size of 45, that is 45. Do you think we can solve for, of course, the variance here? We know that in order for us to get the variance, we have this formula. That is variance or standard deviation of the population mean divided by the n. So we do not have this one. So therefore, this one is for the unknown. 
since we do not have the variance for the population. Now, what is our standard error of the mean? This one is the standard error of the mean. So this is S over square root of M. We can solve it since we have this one and we have this one. Number three, a population composed of 10 items whose measurements are 12, 11, 15, 8, 20, 23, 18, 13, 22, and 10. Samples of six items are drawn at random without replacement. Here, in number three, we have the N, which is 10, and we have also the elements of the N, and our small N is 6. We can compute actually for the variance. So this one is variance divided by the square root of N. We can compute this one because we have the entries here. Therefore, this one is known. Okay. Now, what is the standard error? The standard error is this one. Simply. That's it. This one is the standard error.